pretend to have an ice-cold heart all you want, everybody agrees that babies are adorably cute, if they want to admit it or not. And baby animals, they might just be cuter than the human ones. Well, some are, and some, some are kind of gruesome and odd. This is what 15 newborn animals look like. Number 15. Baby Monkey There's something almost human about a baby monkey. When you see one of its little hands, it could be the hand of a newborn baby human. In fact, baby monkeys are also known as infants, just like we are when we are young. And their faces kind of resemble a mixture between a human baby and someone who's about 100 years old. There are around 260 different species of monkey in the world and we usually classify them as either New World or Old World monkeys. Being mammals like us, they rely on their mother's milk during infancy. In fact, monkeys tend to stay very close to their mothers while they are young, in many species clinging to the back of the mother wherever she goes. The smallest baby monkey is the pygmy marmoset, which at birth weighs less than half an ounce. The largest monkey in the world is the mandrill, and they also have the largest young of any monkey. Mandrill mothers usually only have one baby at a time, and they are born with a white coat of fur topped with a crop of black hair, which makes them look like a kind of skinny baby monkey Las Vegas era Elvis Presley. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Baby elephants are just adorable with their tiny little trunks, gorgeous faces, and floppy ears. As the time of giving birth nears, a female elephant will seek out close contact with another female elephant, normally a family member, to protect them during labor. On some occasions, the whole family will circle around, offering protection. A single calf is normally born with four legs and heads first. The average elephant calf stands at 9 meters tall, weighing 120 kilograms. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Baby Otter here we can see four baby otters who were born prematurely at Montana Zoo and rejected by their mother. Without the help of these zookeepers, these babies would stand no chance of survival. Even when born normally, baby otters are blind. Only after 40 days do their eyes begin to work normally, and at this point, mother would begin to teach the otter babies how to swim, a process which can take up to one year. Prior to giving birth, both mother and father otter stockpile food for themselves, so they don't have to leave the nest while the baby otters are still very young. Normally, the baby otters are terrified of water, and their mother has to drag them in to take a few swimming lessons. But then after a while, the mother has to drag them out of the water because they love it so much. Sounds a lot like human children, if you ask me. Baby otters are known as puppies and are very playful animals. Usually, an otter mother will give birth to a litter of two to four puppies, so they are never short of playmates. Number 13. Baby Foal Unlike otters, baby foals are born almost ready to go. They are normally on their feet within two hours of birth and will be able to gallop after just 24 hours. As we can see in this incredible clip of a mother horse giving birth to her foal, the baby horse almost immediately and instinctively is trying to stand. The mother horse licks the foal, establishing a powerful bond right from the beginning. This birth is slightly unusual as it took place during the day, while most horses are born at night. The process of birth is also relatively quick when compared to human beings. Just after birth, the baby horse will receive a special milk called colostrum, which helps the immune system. After about a week, the foal will begin to nibble on grass. One amazing fact about baby horses is that their legs are already 80 to 90 percent of their maximum length. While the body will grow much bigger, the legs are almost fully formed at birth, which helps horses to survive in the wild, where they are prey animals 
who rely on running very fast as one of their main forms of defense against predators. Number 12. Baby Giraffe A giraffe mother gestates her baby for 14 months. At birth, the baby giraffe leaves her mother's womb and falls six feet to the ground, banging its head as it lands. This does not harm the giraffe and in fact plays a role in activating the baby giraffe's respiratory system. A little like their equine cousins, the horse, baby giraffes can walk within an hour of being born. As you might imagine, a baby giraffe is a pretty huge baby. They can be over 6 feet tall at birth and weigh more than 150 pounds. An adult male giraffe can grow to 18 feet and 13,000 pounds. For the first six months of their lives, giraffes will feed on nutritious giraffe milk before graduating to their regular diet of leaves and other vegetation. On an interesting side note, the Jewish religion in 2008 declared giraffe to be kosher, although it is not known whether giraffe pastrami bagels will become popular on the streets of New York anytime soon or not. In any case, as we can see in this clip, there is a very cute bond between mother and baby giraffe. And when this baby gets old enough, your mother will pull leaves off trees to feed her baby with it, and it will need plenty of them, as a full-grown giraffe can eat as much as 75 pounds of food every single day. Number 11. Baby Seal Alaska Sea Pup Rescue found this baby seal on a beach, having been abandoned by its mother. It had only been out of the water for about 12 hours and was beginning to suffer from overheating and starvation. Luckily, these guys showed up to take care of this seal pup. And as you can see, they wrapped this cute little guy up in a pink blanket, just like a seal burrito. Um, they've been taken over by people and the activities that we do. So Once he was in his transporter cage, they gave him some cold water and ice to bring his body temperature back down to normal. Seal mothers only have one pup every year, and the pups require a great deal of care in the first few months of their life, since they do not yet have a waterproof coat. And of course, rely on their mother's milk. It is not known why the mother seal chose to abandon this pup, but it does look like he will get another chance thanks to his human rescuers. Although we're only at number 11 on our countdown, we already have a contender for the cutest baby animal of all. Number 10. Baby Elephant Elephants have a long pregnancy which lasts up to 22 months in the African elephant species, which is the largest animal species on land. And so, as you might imagine, elephant calves are the largest babies on land, and that they can weigh as much as 300 pounds and stand 3 feet tall at birth. Similar to horses and giraffes, elephant calves are able to walk quite soon after they are born. This newborn baby elephant at Columbus Zoo was an exciting arrival. Zookeepers kept a close eye on both mother and baby, realizing that the young elephant was a little smaller than normal. So they built mounds of earth for the baby to stand on during its first day so that it could reach its mother's teats and feet. Within a few hours, the elephant calf had already strengthened its neck muscles just enough to be able to feed normally. Elephant babies are extremely reliant on their mothers to teach them most of the complex survival skills necessary for life as an elephant. These intelligent creatures rely on learning and are born with relatively few instinctive survival skills when compared to other animals. However, the complexity of the things that they do learn makes elephants one of the most amazing creatures on Earth. Number 9. Duckling in this clip, we witness the hatching of one of the cutest species of animal of all time, the baby duck or duckling. Ducklings are born without feathers and instead have a fluffy yellow, black, or multicolored down on their bodies to keep them warm. Ducks lay quite a lot of eggs compared to other birds, as many as 15. They will sit on the eggs for around one month until they are ready to hatch. Once hatched, the ducklings will enter the water for their first time ever swim after spending just one day in the nest. They will, of course, go into the water under the protection of their mother who gives them their first swimming lessons and begins to train them in what is good and what is not good to eat. 
After a month or two, depending on the species, the baby duckling will have replaced its down with feathers, and so will be free to swim and fly all by itself. Life is not always easy for baby ducklings, as many predators will see them as a quick and easy meal. But with the protection of their mother, at least some of them will make it to adulthood. Number 8. Baby Raccoon Raccoons will be familiar to many people across North America, and nowadays there are also populations living in Germany and Japan, among other countries. These fuzzy little bandits are known for raiding trash cans and tend to do well living alongside humans. However, they are not recommended as pets, as they are still wild animals who can be quite ferocious when approached, and also carry several diseases which are transmittable to humans. Still, the cuteness of baby raccoons, which are known as kits or cubs, is undeniable. For two months, raccoon cubs will live in a den with their mother until they have been weaned. By 12 weeks, the young raccoons will be free to wander and hunt and scavenge all by themselves for an entire night before returning to the den. After one year, they will be completely independent, and raccoons live for around three years in the wild. In spite of the diseases that they sometimes carry, raccoons are in fact extremely clean creatures who are known to wash their food in running water and to dig latrines in areas they go to often. Number 7. Baby Anteater In 2017, a giant anteater named Anara gave birth to twins at Santa Barbara Zoo. The mini anteater pair seemed to love to ride around on the back of their mother. Thanks to the help of Santa Barbara Zoo staff, as well as being energetic and playful little creatures. Zoo staff help out with feeding the babies to make sure they get all the nutrition they need to become strong and healthy adults. Normally, giant anteaters only give birth to one baby at a time, so this is quite a rare event. In the wild, the mother would carry the baby around before depositing the baby on a safe branch so that it can go and forage for food. The pups, as they are known, have a coat which is very similar to an adult anteater's, which acts as a kind of camouflage when it is riding on the back of the mother. After around five months, the anteater pup will begin a diet of ant eggs and insectivore pellets. Zoos such as the one at Santa Barbara are working hard at the conservation efforts to ensure survival of the great anteater species, which is under threat in the wild from hunting and habitat destruction. Number 6. Baby Goat Baby goats are of course known as kids and have been for many centuries in English. Mother goats are pregnant for around five and a half months, and they usually give birth to two goats at a time, although one and three are also quite common. Baby goats can stand up within minutes of being born and are soon wandering around. Keeping track of them can be quite the challenge for the mother, and goats rely on a combination of scent and a unique call rather than eyesight to identify their kids. After just one week, the kids will be leaping around, bouncing off tree stumps and hay bales, absolutely full of playful energy. Baby goats also love to snuggle, and a common sight is something called a kid pile, which is all the baby goats piling on top of one another for warmth and comfort. Goats were one of the first animals domesticated by humans, and today, there are more than 200 species of domestic goat, ranging from the tiny 20-pound pygmy goat to the much, much larger 250-pound Angelo Nubian goat. These funny and mischievous animals are some of our oldest friends. Number 5. Baby Octopus Although they are incredibly intelligent creatures, octopuses do not live very long lives. It depends on the species, of course, but even the largest octopuses do not live much longer than five years in the wild. While smaller species have a lifespan of only a few months. Whatever the species of octopus, the end of their lives invariably comes after reproduction. Octopuses mate when the male uses one of his tentacles to transfer sperm to the female. The female then fertilizes her eggs, which can number as many as 400,000 in one go. Your mother octopus is one of the most devoted mothers in all of nature, and she will guard her eggs ferociously. 
Once the eggs hatch, the mother octopus's body begins to die, and very soon after, when the tiny octopus babies leave their den, their mother will die, while the father also dies after playing his part in reproduction. The octopus larvae are tiny, and will drift in plankton crowds, eating other larvae, until they grow big enough to fend for themselves. Although a very high percentage of these larvae will be at risk of being eaten by sea creatures who feed on plankton. Number 4. Baby Skunk at Wild Care Animal Rehab Center, this skunk has been admitted with a broken leg. Carers tend to her leg and also discover that she is pregnant. With human help, this mother skunk not only recovered from her leg injury, but also gave birth to three healthy skunk kits, as they are known. Skunks give birth once a year, and their gestation period lasts about two months. <laughs> The baby skunks, which already have the famous black and white markings on their fur, are weaned after two months. For the first three weeks, a little bit like the otters, they are blind. At a year old, they are ready to go out and see the world, and start using that nasty, stinking spray on anything that deserves it, as well as being old enough to start their own little skunk family. Skunks don't live very long in the wild, rarely more than three years, although in captivity they can live as long as eight years. Skunks are not aggressive and will not use their famous spray unless threatened. They are nocturnal and quite solitary, although they do form groups, and a group of skunks is known as a surfiet when mating season comes around, which must smell just wonderful. Number 3. Baby Owl We all know the word for baby bird is a chick, but this does not apply to owls, who have their own word for their young owlet. Like most other birds, owlets break out of their egg with the help of a special tooth, which then falls out after around two weeks. Owls lay their eggs over the course of a few days, rather than all at once. All right, and we got the third one. This strategy helps with the survival of the species, although it does mean that the youngest will sometimes struggle to survive. Their role is in some respects as a kind of backup to the eldest, who will get the most food. Owls do not build nests, but instead take over the nests of other birds. Sometimes people find baby owls on the ground in the woods, and imagine that the baby owl is in trouble, but in fact it's perfectly normal for it to be there. Owls grow extremely fast, and in two months, will be at full adult size and weight. From there, they will seek their own mate, and owl couples stay together for life. As you can see from this clip, these fluffy little birds seem to enjoy being stroked by humans. Number 2. Baby Hedgehog it's fair to say hedgehogs are one of the animals that get cuter as they get older. These tiny pink blobs with spikes and no eyes look a little crazy to begin with, and they are absolutely tiny, weighing less than one ounce. Baby hedgehogs are known as hoglets. And then I would brush his back with it, and he surprisingly loved it and require a lot of protection by their mother, as even the hedgehog father can sometimes attack and eat his own children. Many baby hedgehogs are abandoned, and rescue centers have their work cut out, caring for all these cute but prickly creatures. After something like four to seven weeks, the hoglet will have to fend for itself in the wild, but they will not reach full maturity until around nine to 11 months. Although life for a hedgehog can be hard, they sometimes live as long as eight years. In this clip, we see Wilbur, who was reared from a newborn, by his owner, a woman from Texas. We can see the transformation as Wilbur grows, and especially how much he grows once he begins eating solid food. It's a real challenge to raise a baby hedgehog successfully, as they are so weak and fragile. But here with Wilbur, there is clearly a success story. Number 1. Baby Chinchilla It's just possible that we saved the best, or should I say the cutest, for last. These little rodents, who are native to the Andes Mountains of South America, are truly adorable creatures, especially when they are babies. They can be quite popular as pets, however both species of chinchilla are now listed as critically endangered in the wild, having suffered a 90% population decline in recent years due to the destruction of the rainforest. These big-eared and long-whiskered animals are extremely social, 
and love to spend time with their herds, as well as with their human owners when they're pets. In this clip, we see a pet chinchilla named Mochi and her two new babies. One baby, Loki, has already been born, and as Loki's sibling arrives, he seems to dance around with joy. As soon as Pokey leaves the womb, Loki cannot wait to greet him. Chinchillas have a resemblance to rabbits, but they are in fact quite closely related to guinea pigs and porcupines. They are about 15 inches long and covered in thick fur, which helps them survive in the cold temperatures on the Andes Mountains. And chinchillas can survive at heights of up to 16,500 feet. They are omnivorous and have been known to live for as long as 20 years. For centuries, they were prized for their fur, although in recent years, the trade of chinchilla fur has been banned by many countries in an attempt to save the species from extinction. How could we possibly let these little balls of cuteness die out? Before we overdose on newborn baby animal cuteness, it's time to wrap this video up. Which of these newborns did you think was the cutest of all? Have you ever rescued an unusual newborn baby animal? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!